Um, another thing, what we're gonna do with this is, if you actually look, can you look up here real quick? This, we're gonna have a bucket right here, and even if we have just a single attachment point, we're gonna double it up just to be sure, to just be safe, but if, even if we had just a single, that'd be enough to hold two heavy rings, because this is really, really solid stuff. And it's um, actually one of the more reliable linear slides you've seen. Um, I've done weight tests with this bot, with this lift design. This lift, which is just primarily a ring lifter, can lift 25 pounds. It, we tip, it, it tips the robot <laughs> naturally, but the linear slide system and the winch system combined together worked uh, pretty much perfectly. You do have to use washers on some of these screws just yeah. to be safe. There is a bit of difficulty actually, <laughs> going... Well, there's a bit of difficulty. The interior of the 8020 bar, if you see that, that is not actually threaded. So if you want, you can take you, a you, tap to it. Yeah, you can screw something into the top of this to either stop it from going really? further or simply as an attachment point for something. But you do have to tap that by hand, which does take a little bit of skill. But Here, here's the, uh, the bigger size tap. Our smaller tap kind of got broken in use, so yeah, we don't kind of have, we, we have the bigger version, we um, don't know why. Just as a safety warning, this is very, very durable metal and it has a lot of force behind it, it will pinch. Um, we actually have... We have pinch stickers which all over we it. we need to renew, but before competition we usually place pinch stickers, that's one of them right there, just so, um, people, just, just be safe. Yeah. Liability. To... Attach the carriages, I don't think if I specified this correctly, you lock it down, you basically assemble the three parts on this, on this. On the one you don't want it to move. Yeah, on the non-moving one, and then you lock it down here and here, and then there's another pair of screws in here, and then you're going to lock it down with little screws that are in the middle section, and then you basically just slide the moving section through it, yeah. and it'll just, it works perfectly. Um, I have, speaking from personal example, I took a carriage, put it at the top of this entire 8020 bar, and just and held it up and slid it down. Base it slid the entire way without stopping. There is, it's a very very solid, steady linear linear slide. Is there anything else you need to do? Oh, and uh, our bot lift, we were originally making it out of the 8020. You want to talk about that? What? The bot lift. Um, what do you mean about this? Um, well, I mean, the 8020 pieces can be used for other things besides um, linear slides. Like James said, they are very sturdy. Um, and as you, they can uh, be used as hinges uh, for various things, such as bot lifts that, you know, fold down. Um, so, yeah, they can be used for more than just linear slides. Something I did... Um, I had to do, if I said before, the bot had a tendency to tip over, what I was going to do was I was going to attach uh, Servo City servo blocks, which are something that takes the weight off of the servo, and I was going to put uh, 100, 360 degree servos here and here, in servo blocks so they could rotate feet out to act as outriggers for the bot when it did a bot lift, and I had to use, I was going to use channels to lock it down onto the bot itself, However, that wasn't durable enough and couldn't take the weight. So I used 80-20 bar and actually was going to um, put bar here and bar here just to take up the weight on that. Can we just show them how to make a hinge with one? Sure. Go ahead. I don't need no more pieces. <laughs> I'm thinking we're two part B. Um, sure. We're at 12 minutes and 45 seconds. We can edit the video now. A note about... We will edit the video in um, half. Edit my voice out. These, no. we noticed, we have a um, bandsaw, who's the manufacturer? Oh, uh, lighting. Uh, Ryobi, uh, I think. Someone? Ryobi, R-Y-O-B-I. Yeah. Can you anyway. turn on that light back there? We have a pretty good bandsaw, however the throat is not deep enough to take a 17 inch um, piece of channel. So what we do is we take a jigsaw, and if I was cutting to 17 inches, I would cut like an 18 or 17 and a half inch. And then it would um, do a finesse cut with the bandsaw. Finesse. Just a note. What? Finesse, not finesse.
<laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> same difference. <laughs> it's all the same in binary. Um. Stop showing off. That's about <laughs> it. Although, actually, here. Come around here. If you look at this, <laughs> that is a Tetrix piece screwed into 8020 channel. That's a good solid mount. I think we use that to attach wires. Yeah, we used to have wires that ran up all the way. Mm -hmm. We don't need them anymore, so that's going to get removed, most likely. But still, just in case we need it. Um, I do believe, for those of the teams that are looking towards the future and aren't really competing in the 2012-2013 game, usually FTC has never really made it illegal something that they had legal last year. So I'm pretty sure linear slides like this... Benny and FTC is still pretty new. Well, they're going to have... They're probably going to have linear slides legal for the far future. So it, it's great cut. It's great stuff. And the stuff we bought now wasn't all that expensive. Do yeah. you remember... I think it was like 20 bucks for 48 inches. I think for the entire thing we paid $150. Yeah. And you can also order them pre-cut. You can also order them pre-cut, but that is a little bit more expensive. Um, but it's probably nicer cuts. <laughs> but again, this stuff was a, a relatively big investment, but it will probably be here for at least three years. It's a well worth it investment. Yes. It's, it's going to be around for a very long time. Yes. And we, we know right now we're not within size requirements. We didn't have enough metal wire to yeah. bring us all the way down. So so before we get any flame about that. Yeah. Um, just a quick note. For those of you who are wondering, those are LEDs down there. They're soldered in by our brilliant electrical lead. We actually yeah. have... Rotate the bot so we can see the switch back there. Do, 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 do. We actually have it on a red-blue switch. As you notice right now, we have it on blue. I've been flashing it back and forth during the video. Yeah. It's to indicate your team in slash well, alliance. Well, it, it looks cool, too. Yeah. Yep, design award. Yep. The, these are um, the, RB, the RGB lights. They can also yeah. be programmed um, yes. to have different colors because they're RGB lights. Yeah, so and any any color you can mix red, green, and blue together oh, with. Uh, May, do you want to talk about the Anderson block? And using... Oh, can I put in my two cents yeah. into this? Sure. Using... <laughs> uh, you can actually use breadboards to uh, change the LEDs and wire extra LEDs so that based on whatever you're running on your controller, you can have the LEDs change colors. Say the arm is moving, you can make them change to green. Okay, I think that's it for this video. Yeah, um, as you know, our last video we talked about the... Jake's the, electricals. Um, the electrical, yeah. wiring up a double wire into the servo and motor controllers with, an, an with Anderson, Anderson connectors. Anderson. I'll talk more about the uh, Anderson connectors in our next video. Hopefully, we'll get that one next week, Rather maybe. Soon, yeah. we, we hope to get it soon. Soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we lost Very soon. We're in um, the final uh, for state comp final week or two of state competition, so we're really yes. busy. Week and a half. Yeah. Yeah. We we had we had a bit of downtime, Same so time. we decided that we. Who shows up better on camera? Sleep deprivation. Yeah. We we thought that we'd get of uh, this video done. Yeah, it's not like late, and no one's at school. Yeah, definitely not. Yeah. Okay, come on. We're well, such we're done cool here. kids. Okay, well, so um, if there's anything else, I hope the video was educational. I hope you guys are having fun, and good luck with your robot. This and has it. been Team Forty Two Eighteen. Love you, Knights. And and if you have any questions or. Want to know more about what we have? Just leave a comment and we'll reply to it. Subscribe! <laughs>